Hyundai 935 replaced the popular Tucson in 2010. The compact crossover is built on the same platform as the third-generation Kia Sportage. And they assembled 935 at the factories of the South Korean concern in Slovakia and the Czech Republic. Mindful of the utilitarian virtues of its predecessor, the car was warmly welcomed in Ukraine. And these expectations, it is worth recognizing, the 35th as a whole justified. Hyundai 935 was offered with two-liter engines, petrol, 150 horsepower, and diesel, 136 and 184 horsepower. There are three boxes, five-speed or six-speed mechanics, as well as automatic. Let's make a reservation right away. We do not know anything about chronic fatal malfunctions of engines and transmissions that would entail unbearable expenses. The owners, as if by agreement, bypass the power couple on specialized internet forums. From which we can conclude, reliable. And if you look into the instruction manual, you can stumble upon an amazing and ambitious passage. Say, the fluid in the brake system, the oil in the transfer case and gearboxes, the oil in the manual and automatic transmissions do not change the entire life of the car. You will laugh, but today the 935 failure statistics confirm the manufacturer's self-confidence. Exceptions are indeed rare. However, this does not mean that the car does not have weaknesses that should be considered when buying it on the secondary market. So, the only negative thing about the gasoline engine was a lot of complaints about the discrepancy between the declared fuel consumption and the real one, a common thing. In the city, the real average consumption is 13 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers, on the highway, at least 8 liters. According to the passport, everything is different, 10 and 7 liters, respectively. On diesel versions, passport data, 9 and 6 liters, respectively are much closer to reality. Rigid and also knocking suspension was the cause of many complaints. The main source of knocking is the native suspension struts. Replacing them doesn't fix the problem. It happened that for 20,000 kilometers, some car owners managed to change them three times. However, there are also lucky ones who did not notice the knock and drove up to 100,000 kilometers without incident. Another source of knocks, on cars up to 2012 onwards, is the anther and shock absorber bumper flying from the seats. They are recommended to be fixed with a sealant. Not uncommon on serious runs and the knock of the steering rack. The paintwork is traditionally soft for Koreans, quickly gaining chips, especially the hood. However, the metal under them, covered with a thin brown film, today does not even think of rusting. Sustainability and durability of chrome fittings. But this is not the main body problem. Complaints about the poor closing of doors, forcing them to slam heavily, have become the most widespread. On irregularities, the back door sometimes flakes, which is why it is necessary to adjust the lock hinges. And in general, the rigidity of the body leaves much to be desired. And yet, you should not chase cars with the function of heating the rest zone of the wiper blades. The windshield here is not very resistant, in cold weather, it happens that it bursts due to temperature changes. To a fair run, a lot of claims run up in the cabin. It gets old quite quickly, especially with careless operation. Scratches, peeling paint in places of frequent contact. You can find a lot of complaints about the car on the forums, but in general, any of the owners will confirm that the 935 is a technically reliable car. As for diseases, all their symptoms are quickly eliminated. And then, if you don't forget to diagnose the spline connections of the transfer case and gearbox for corrosion before buying, the spline connection of the drive shaft and the CV joint is not protected from moisture, the 935 will serve you well. Opal Mocha, advertising for the coffee crossover, when it first hit the market, urged, break out of the flow. And many decided to break out. They even took pre-orders for it. The interest in the car was genuine. However, no one was particularly successful in escaping. Mocha got to Ukraine almost in its entirety of engines, including a 130 horsepower 1.7 turbo diesel, the only one from the line of engines that can well spurn almost one and a half ton crossover. We also got two gasoline engines for 140 horses, a 1.4 liter turbo engine and a good old Opel 1.8 liter aspirated. The latter turned out to be more popular with us. Perhaps because it could be bought with a six speed manual or automatic. Until the middle of 2014, the youngest relied only on the MCP. In general, you will not find serious complaints about the car on the network. Glitches do happen, of course. This is still an Opal with all the consequences, but in general, we repeat, the children's ailments of the crossover were bypassed. He is praised for the general positive background, the comfort of the front seats, excellent equipment, the quality of the finish of the original, but at the same time ergonomic, a rarity for Opal, interior. Many are even satisfied with the dynamics, 
although sometimes it is not easy to break out of the stream. But the Japanese Isen submachine gun seems to be quite deservedly respected. So far, there are no complaints about its reliability. As they are not there for the operation of both motors, but this is, rather, beyond the youth of years. People also like handling, although the specialist, having paid tribute to the good course stability for a short wheelbase car, will quickly find an empty steering wheel, dangerous rolls in corners caused by a high center of mass, and simply banal windage. Mocha flinches as a truck speeds by. Leaves much to be desired and soundproofing. Well, since we have not yet been able to collect representative statistics of breakdowns, let's turn to generalized shortcomings, again, collected on the forums of the owners. Is it possible to consider a short line of motors as a disadvantage? Rather, the problem today is in official services, which are rarely able to solve complex issues with electronics. Here one of the misfortunes of the crossover is recalled. The system likes to turn off all-wheel drive at the most inopportune moment, about which an unpleasant warning lights up on the scoreboard. Because of this, many are sure that the 4x4 works arbitrarily here, and the clutch is prone to overheating. Which is not entirely true. An obvious minus is the lowered front lip, which collects snow in front of it and snow drifts and quickly cracks on the curbs. Headlights fog up. And the AFL adaptive lighting correction system is often buggy, especially in cold weather with cold headlights. Almost all Mocha owners do not agree with the wipers. Freezing, they scratch the glass, and the edge of the hood does not allow lifting them for cleaning. The search for a technological position, vertically in the middle, leads nowhere. Recently, prices for Opel cars have faltered in comparison with competitors. Today you can take a very good option at an affordable price. Maintenance will not bring any special costs either, but do not forget that Opel is great at losing value even in short periods of time. And Mocha is no exception. 